Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai and I'm so excited. We have some more Slipknot today. I am recording this very early and I honestly have not even prepared any coffee or any to drink, anything whatsoever because last Slipknot had a firecracker up my ass. So we're going to continue to chase that feeling and get some more hype this morning. I'm having Slipknot again for breakfast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to be listening to the song before I forget a ton of requests for this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If there's other ones that you see I'm missing on my playlist, please, as always, let me know in the comments below. And if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. So you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with today's video. Headbanging intensifies. Okay, a homie in the back is, is windmilling like his life depended on it. I want to know what time uh, period this was in. Obviously, I only um, see a little bit of glimpses here. I don't see anyone having their mask on, which is very odd. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Slipknot performance without masks. Um, so this is a very interesting one. Um, I've only seen Corey, obviously. I've seen Snuff, and we all know what they actually look like. Um, but this is interesting that they all have it on display. I don't know if they're actually going to pan out to their, their real faces. It kind of like has like that, you know, the camera's blurring everyone out. I don't know if that's, you know, they're just going to be like that for the whole video, but I'm totally fine with whatever. But the head banging is definitely intensifying. I got to say, I've been practicing my windmill. I almost threw my neck out. So I got to tell you, this is so impressive. Everyone in Slipknot is just so well versed. They have great neck hair. They probably had a chiropractor on, you know, speed dial because everyone is always losing their shit on stage and why wouldn't you if you're playing this it's like honestly these riffs and the percussion and slipknot definitely makes you want to punch somebody in the face you just want to grab a stranger and punch five holes into their skull i don't know I, it's just they, they definitely make you, you give music that just wants to you know it riles you up it just kind of like you just you just feel so good I'm, I'm really really enjoying this i love Corey's voice it's just so like mm, so meaty so sizzling it's like you know like hearing a, a steak sizzle on a barbecue you just gotta like i don't know what it is it's just so good um but i'm loving the angst i'm loving the percussion i definitely want someone to bang my skull in like that it, it tickles that nice part of your brain that just kind of like i just want someone to slam you know a drumstick in there i feel like that would fix me but but I'm really, really loving this. I'm, I'm loving the energy and I don't even see anyone actually. It's just little silhouettes of people windmilling and headbanging and it's already doing so much for me this morning. Um, we'll go back just a, a teeny bit, uh, but let's continue. <laughs> right there, that solid windmill. I'm I love that build up. Oh, barefoot. Not for free. <laughs> Such a solid riff. I want to go back. I like, I really love that change so much. I 
nice spell. Such a dramatic change. face right now. <sighs> well, that was a good time. <laughs> I feel like, oh my gosh, every time we listen to Slipknot, I, I feel like I, I'm a little schoolgirl all over again. I'm just like, Ooh, like, I don't know. It just makes me feel so good. I'm I don't know. I, I love that the mic dropped and then they're just like kind of, you know, panning to it while everyone leaves. It's just like, okay, there we go. Uh, I, I really, really um, enjoyed this, obviously. <laughs> I'm loving the percussion. I mean, obviously, it goes without saying. Anytime you listen to Slipknot, the one thing that stands out, um, the one thing that you can always know, oh, that's Slipknot, is the percussion um that is very very uh on brand of them to be banging on possibly anything they could get their hands on you get kegs you get actual drums you know i've seen some you know live performances where they just get so creative on the stage and i think that's so cool and obvious slipknot fashion the the percussion is always all the way up here and then that riff was really really solid it wasn't you know it's not like you ever get any crazy solos with slipknot you always get really really tight riffs that are just so catchy and you know they're very consistent throughout the whole song so you just feel like i don't know you can kind of like head bang and jam out and kind of lose yourself for a minute and and it's really really um easy on your brain because obviously cory and the percussion are just like brr, they're like little energizer bunnies that just like brr, the whole song so if there was anything crazy with the guitars you'd probably probably lose your shit and actually go into a psychosis um that's just how i feel i feel like slipknot makes music for um people who are angry um but also soft inside i feel like um you know as uh, intimidating as they all might be with their masks i know they're all we're all probably you know big softies on the inside but when they get on stage they just want to you know just rip someone's head off and just you know uh, like i don't know what it is it almost feels like an alter ego um I really, really enjoyed this. I love Corey's voice so much. It's so versatile. He has so much range. I've seen, you know, him in this. I've seen so many um, videos here on YouTube with you guys. Uh, if there's one I'm missing, also let me know in the comments below. Um, but I've seen so much of his range. He has that angsty grit. He has that nice, like, firecracker in his voice, that nice little fry, that nice scream. Uh, but he also can be really, really soft and almost kind of serenade you like we saw in the snuff acoustic version i've also seen a performance where he sang the freaking spongebob song the who lives in the pineapple i've seen that i've seen that i'm like okay he can literally do anything he could probably you know sing me uh the contents of a phone book and we'd all be like hell yeah let's go i don't know it's just it's just something about his voice is so unique and it's just so versatile and it's just so perfect in this if you know i don't think that the, it would have been the same with any other you know vocalist um but i Again, another um, one out of the park here with Slipknot. I really, truly, I haven't had a single drop of coffee. I haven't had a single, you know, sip of any energy drink. And if you know me, I am always over caffeinated. So to have this kind of mood this early in the morning without a single ounce of caffeine, Slipknot did its job. Um, so I highly recommend a hearty bowl of Slipknot for breakfast because it'll make you feel really good. And you're going to have a good ass day because of it. But 
Thank you so much for watching with me. If you enjoyed my video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this one and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. I also live stream on Twitch. If you want to catch me on there, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you guys a little bit better. We do, you know, some singing, some uh, bass guitar playing. We hang out, play games, get uh, do all of that fun stuff. But uh, other than that, I have videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.